Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store or if you are unable to launch it from Steam or if you are facing crashing and freezing issue with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder and you can launch the launcher. Uh, you can launch the game from here. So you can even launch the launcher. You can just make a double click, launch the launcher and, and from the launcher, you can launch the game or you can just try to launch the game from here. Now, if you have the game on Xbox app, in that case, you can click on this three dots over here and then click on manage and then go to files and then click on browse and over here, open the game folder, content folder. And over here, you will see the game exe file. So this one game launcher helper even if you try to i don't think yeah you can try to launch the game from here and then you can check if that does not work you can even use game launcher helper make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then try to launch the game from here do the same thing with this make a right click then click on run as administrator and then check for steam users uh, you can just uh, make a right click on this and then run as administrator and then check you can even uh, try to launch the launcher uh, and then you can run run it as an administrator and then check still not working uh, the next step is to rename or delete the config folder to rename or delete the config folder for steam users you can go to the game installation folder uh, over here you can see settings settings and then you will see uh, config something so it's uh, config.blk. Yes, enlisted config.blk. So uh, when before you delete it, let me inform you that when you do so, you will lose uh, all the saved settings. Uh, so you, if you want, you can uh, create a backup first and then you can uh, rename it or you can delete it. So for settings.blk, you can make a right click. You can rename this .old and then you can launch the game and then click on yes to allow launch the game and do the same thing with uh, enlisted config.blk .old and then you can launch the game. If you have the game on uh, Game Pass, uh, do the same thing. Uh, you will see this enlisted config.blk and then you can rename it and then you can relaunch the game and then check in you won't find settings over here now the next step is to start steam as an administrator steam users can close steam you can go to steam ex exit steam and then you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle light now if you have the game on steam make a right click manage browse local files and then open battle life folder and over here you can see uninstall battle life make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow click on yes okay and then make a right click on install battle life run as administrator click on yes to allow and now you can launch the game for uh, for game pass user uh, you can again open battle life and then you can make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow this will launch the game for for a second then click on yes to allow click on yes uninstall now make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then again it will close automatically click on yes to allow and just ignore this error if you receive this error now still you are facing the problem in that case you can just uninstall battle line. run as administrator click on yes to allow and click on yes to allow let it uninstall once uninstall steam users also you can uninstall battle line. make a right click run as administrator click on yes to allow click on yes okay and you can launch the game when you launch the game uh, during the launch it will install battle line. so when you click on play uh, during launching the game it will prompt you to install battle light and then click on yes to allow and 
now you can check still not working the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click command prompt app click on run as administrator make sure that open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key once this is done you can relaunch the game and then check still not working run gaming services repair to for this is for xbox users uh, game pass user you can go to xbox app click on your profile icon now click on support option and then click on gaming services repair to click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the repair complete the repair will take some time and once the repair is done now you can launch the game and then check uh, let me close the game for now just launching the game once the repair is complete you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to in nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on find and on this page in the very uh, the latest graphic card driver will be at the top so you can click on view and then you can click on download and once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file when you run this exe file uh, click on agree and continue and then select custom option then click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on, click on next once it is done now restart your computer after the system restart launch the game and amd card users again go to your amd website select your graphic card and update the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed uh, in my case it is installed in c drive if you have the game on steam type in uh, open steam folder then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game over here and then select high performance again for launcher also if you're using launcher high, high performance now for game pass user uh, click on add microsoft store app over here and then you will find the game in the list select the game and once the game is added over here uh, this is the game no this is not the game yeah this is the game so once the game is added now select high performance and now you can launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working this this has worked for many players so you can just roll back graphics driver so you can go to nvidia website when you after, uh, after you select the graphic card uh, you can on this page you can click on view more version and right now the latest is 580.97 and then the the, uh, the previous one is 580.88 for many users this is also not working so maybe you can try to roll back to 577 uh, GeForce Game Read Driver, install it. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disable or enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to system, go to display, go to graphics, and then click on advanced graphics settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on, turn this off and then launch the game if it is already off turn it on and then check so try both on and off and then check which one is working fine for you next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now in my case i have only one option that is balanced in your case you will see uh, power saver so if you see uh, power saver like this select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced and high performance check which one is working fine for you next step is to for steam users try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dx dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step
Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have uh, like any kind of USB adapter connected, if you hootahs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter disconnected. If you have extra controller connected, disconnected, disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Close all the overlay application. Now for Steam users, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off overlay and close all the overlay application and then check. If you have do not overclock, if you have overclocked, set overclocking to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit. So close all the third party application. Uh, perform clean boot. If you have any kind of online storage application running, close it. Uh, and then perform clean boot. Uh, for this, you can type in system configuration in Windows search box. Click on system configuration. Go to the services tab. Put a check on, check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then disable all and then hit apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next is to verify the game files. For Steam users, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. If you have the game on for Game Pass user, you can select the game, then click on these three dots, then click on manage, and then go to files, and then click on verify and repair. Click on yes, and let the verification complete. Once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. The same thing, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files, and then you can just make a right click on the game exe file, and then click on run as administrator. You can even make a right click, go to properties, and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, and then check. If that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. You can even put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes from here, and then hit apply, and follow the next step. You can even use this launcher and you can even use this launcher as an administrator to launch the game and then check now for game pass user uh, to run the game as an administrator click on these three dots and then you can click on manage and then click on create desktop shortcut once it is created you can go to desktop you will see that uh, shortcut over here make a right click on the shortcut and then you can click on run as administrator and click on yes to allow and then you can launch the game from here now still not working uh, the next step is to Install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. Download both the files and then run both the exe files. So click on it. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well and then run this x64 file as well. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset the game. And this is for uh, Game Pass user. Open settings, go to apps, go to install apps. And then over here, you can type in the name of the game or you can search the game in the list. And once you find the game, click on the game, uh, click on these three dots, advanced option. First of all, click on terminate over here and then click on repair. After the repair, you can launch the game. If that does not work, you can even go for reset, reset. And after the reset, you can launch the game from here. Launch the game from here and then you can check. Still not working. You can uh, close the Xbox app, exit and then relaunch the Xbox app and then you will see the play option, hit play. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure uh, battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected when you update the system BIOS. Next step is to install all updates in Microsoft Store. Now this is for a Game Pass user. You can go to Store and then go to Downloads option and then you can click on Check for Update option over here. And then if you see Update All, update everything and then you can launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to Windows Update 
and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run this command this is for game pass users copy this command this command is provided in the video description copy it type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run this as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything red restart your computer and then launch the game again for game pass user install xbox identity provider now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description once you go to the website click on download it will prompt you to open microsoft store let me download and then open microsoft store and if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button get button or maybe update option so you can update it if you see update option or install option in my case it is already installed so that's why it's saying install so no need to do anything if you see installed now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell run as administrator only again this step is for game pass players so paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer then copy the second command paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key this will open microsoft store click on get option or if you see install option hit install click on yes to allow and let the download complete once gaming services is installed relaunch xbox app and then or relaunch microsoft store and then you can launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so you can simply uninstall the game and then install the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you see this this these things for xbox game pass user after uninstalling gaming services yeah it's installed you can just relaunch xbox app and you will get rid of all these errors and then you can launch the game so that'll be all thank you